Hello, my souls, and welcome back to Scarlet Nexus. And no, I'm not crying. My allergies are just kicking me in the face. Also, hello Andy, hello Aiden, hello Heather. Ah, uh, woo. Hey, Kit. Yes, Verb. Oops, at the nug you steal Azzy and run away. I mean, I don't think so. But they can snuggle with Azzy if they want. They return with Azzy in a tutu. That's a weird thought. Yes. I mean, I don't think Aziel. <sighs> Fuck. Ugh. I don't think Aziel ever wore a tutu, but I know for one at one particular point he wore a uh, dress and a uh, dress and blouse, or a uh, skirt and blouse. <laughs> hey, Kit. I mean, in. <sighs> Where is the Normally strongest they... muscle in the human body? This feels like a trick question. <laughs> because if memory serves, it's technically your skin. Your skin is... Oh no, correction, that would be the most uh, resilient organ of the human body. Yes. So, strongest muscle, I don't know. The jaw muscle. Huh. I would have assumed with how well it can be controlled, it was something, or was something more along the lines of the butthole. <laughs> That's if you ask a hundred gay men like you. Even straight men can control their buttholes. They just don't know how to do the advanced tricks. <laughs> and with that, I say goodnight, everybody. Hello, Delint. No. Aiden, are you worried to ask what the advanced tricks are? If that's the case, go ask the dude that I talked about last night who can take a fist all the way up to the shoulder. He can also apparently, uh... <laughs> Why? Why did it have to be dot 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 no? Because all I... All I could think of at that point was just you with this horrified look of just, no. <laughs> NX. Are you to drive Dragon Nix into the call? Uh, sure. If only I knew how. I mean, you could always ask the person who's running the party to send him an invite. Oh, you have his information? I yes! Think. Did you send him one? 
Ugh. Yes, that's not the moon bite. Whether he gets it or not, it'll be entirely up to fucking Xbox and his computer. How'd I make it more innocent? How did I, while, while talking about somebody taking a fist up to the shoulder, make whatever you were thinking more innocent? Huh. Anyways, on to the advanced anal tricks. <laughs> hey, Burb! No. <laughs> what? Oh, burb. What? Om nom beep. Why are you obsessed with numbing my beep? <laughs> because it's normal. Om nom nom. information my ass you can't trick us anymore everyone please calm down do not leave your domiciles without permission the government was tricking us who's going to believe you now there's more confusion than i thought people were already on edge after Seiron's rebellion their reaction is completely warranted after being shown a video like that nagi's not here <coughs> maybe the national defense forces took him I'll have Wataru check later. <coughs> I'm assuming you all saw the video as well? Yeah, we did. A lot of it was information we learned in Togetsu, yeah. but it carried more weight coming from the Chief. We used Arahabaki knowing this would happen. I don't regret anything I've done. But to live with what we did, we need to change New Himuka. Someone is coming. An enemy? What? I don't believe it. Good. Finally. I've been looking for you. Major General Fubuki! I've been worried about you. We haven't seen each other since the old OSF hospital. Karin saved me at the last second. <clears throat> Next thing I noticed, Seiron had taken me in. Seiron? I'm glad you're alive, but it looks like you're hurt. Are you okay? Nothing to worry about. More importantly, there's something I need to tell you, Ito. Me? Togetsu has sent people after you. We managed to drive them off because we noticed their movements early enough. But there could be more next time. I want you to be careful. Wait. The whole Togetsu detachment? You took them out by yourself? I just talked. It was the Seiron forces that did the actual fighting. You got Seiron to take action? 
You act like that's not even a big deal. Just how in the world did you manage to even do that? I was afraid they'd not only be after Kasane, but Yuito as well. Anyway, we're finally together again. I'm sure we all have a lot to discuss, so why don't we go back to the hideout? Are you even in any condition to walk? You look pretty haggard. Perhaps I'm a little sleep deprived, but rest is not exactly an option right now. We should get somewhere safe, and... Major General! Are you okay? Don't cause a scene or you'll gather attention. He needs to rest, so let's go to my platoon's hideout for now. Uh, woo. So this is where your hideout is. It looks like the same type of unit as our hideout. The make is identical. How is the Major General? I gave him first aid. The sedative seems to have worked, so he is resting. Looks like he overused his power. You could see the exhaustion in his face. Oh. We should let him rest. Don't worry, he's not in any real danger. He's a lot tougher than he looks. <sighs> By the That's way, good. really quick. Uh, Andy, that's a really good idea. If somebody uh, if somebody tries to get you to do the cinnamon challenge, just walk away. Mostly because the cinnamon challenge is very dangerous and has actually killed people before. Understand, there's a I... reason why I've never done that challenge on this channel. It's... And for those of you who know the channel well enough and know my history, I, I did a lot of challenge videos. The biggest reason we never did the cinnamon challenge is because it is reckless and dangerous. Aren't most internet challenges like that? Yes, but none so far have been as devastating as the cinnamon challenge. None have taken quite as many lives as the Cinnamon Challenge has. Because, here's the thing that most people don't know. When you do that challenge, when you cough, it atomizes, effectively, all of the... Uh, all of the cinnamons in your mouth. And, and you get that nice image of just... <laughs> what you don't see is when they try to breathe in, they're choking themselves. In a lot of cases, because of the fact that the cinnamon was stuck in their mouth and they tried to breathe in and it all went into their uh, esophagus, esophagus and lungs, they have died. There have been people who have choked to death with no hope for being saved because of that challenge. Ice bath you can get out much, much quicker than... You know, you could save yourself from choking to death. Uh, the condom challenge, Jesus. Uh, understand, condoms are not hard to pop or break or what have you. If you got one stuck on your head, instead of panicking, open your mouth, shove your finger in it until you hear pop and then fucking breathe. Helps if you have fingernails, by the way. If someone asked me to do the cinnamon challenge, I'd just laugh at them. I I wouldn't even give them that. I'd just walk away. No, Aiden, the Tide Pod challenge was not even really a challenge. It was just irresponsible. Both on the part of the people issuing the challenge and the part of a company that made a fucking product that looked like candy. But, I mean, this is also how we wind up with Darwin Awards. So I can't really complain all too much. And yes, I know, it's a terrifying thing to say, but I kind of get a little of by people. 
horribly, horribly destroy them in the process of doing something stupid. Like the guy who got a chunk of his own gun lodged in because he tried to fire a gun with a ramrod stuck in it. It's just, it's just satisfying to know stupid that, that, that people that are that stupid, at very least, went out with a bang. And I know there are going to be people that say I'm a terrible person for saying that, but at the same time, I'm a moron half the time, and even I know not to do something like that. you got to be a special kind of stupid to manage to leave the gene pool in such a spectacular way. What do you think, Burb? Thanks for playing. Get out. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> that was meaner than the way I said it. <coughs> no, no, no. Liking humans isn't a bad thing. It's not a hard thing to do. Just understand, I can find any particular human that I like. The real, real, truly, nearly impossible challenge is to like humanity. Oof. Because I'm sorry, Men in Black, uh, straight up, said it the best. People on an individual level are smart. They can be reasoned with. They're uh, capable of higher thought, but people, uh, by and large, are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals. And, and trust me, when you get into the topic of, like, mass hysteria, we are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals. Because, uh, I hate to point this out, did you know that in a panic, humanity will actually trample itself? Like, people will trample over other people. I don't. Hive minds are just as bad. Trust me, look at the far left. I guess we need to wait to talk to him. So, are you guys okay sharing this hideout with everyone? It's going to be a little crowded. That would be convenient. We should sort our belongings then. Kagero, what are you going to do about Yuito? I think it's probably best we decide on something. <laughs> oh, you're going to bring that up. I guess that makes sense. I promise you I'm giving it some thought. Just give me a little more time. <sighs> Would you like to know how my brain inter interpreted what you just said, Kit? What? Hive mimes. <laughs> That t the thought of that just alone just terrifies me. Even better, hi mimes. Oh, hi hive mime. Have you ever seen the cows animation?
What do you mean, Kit? Hold on. Kyoka and Kagro. What were they talking about? I feel like I heard my name. That seems serious. Maybe... No. We're a much bigger group now. We'll you can just understand a lot by other. snooping. Are you talking about me? You don't have to be so nasty. I'll clean up. I wasn't trying to be mean. I guess I have to deal with this all the time now. You can understand a lot by snooping, by reading memories. I have quite a few more connections. You don't like me, do you, Shiden? You still saved me, though. Thanks. You know, just because I saved you doesn't mean I think you're any good. I don't exactly hate you, though. You're so full of it. So, one moment. Okay. So we are going to do a thing that I don't know if it's going to work. Would you like to know what my brain just did instead of when you said that? Yes. The Nuggy Challenge? Oh, good lord. I will be right back. I need to get a drink so I can possibly spit take. Excuse me. Also, hey, Burb, make sure you're watching the stream. I am. Cool. I don't know if this is going to work. I hope it does. Because, understand, this was 13 years ago that this first graced the internet. And now I share a little bit of... My culture with you. And that statement in and of itself should terrify all of you. I'm confuzzled. This. Cows and cows and cows.
I want I want your uh, thoughts on this particular video, by the way, Burb. I can't hear it. I can just see it. Oh, you can't hear it? Nope. Weird. No, I have to hear it because I get that weird. Well, that's fine. I mean, what do you think of the animation? years that's 2000 that was made in 2010 so that was high school then for me <laughs> so what do you guys think of that animation logicless pointless but worth it yeah also, why does it sound like a Pokemon battle turned into a strip dance? I don't know. Why are you strip dancing to Pokemon battle music? <laughs> oh, no, Andy, they're not. The worst part is, did you notice the uh, cow that decided to spring its head up the other cow's ass and make it divide? That's a phrase, by the way. Hey, Burb. Yes? So what did that make you think of? Cheese. If the cows you're getting your milk for cheese for are doing that, Please, that type please, of please tell me what, where the hell that cheese is, because guaranteed that cheese is going to be like taking acid. <laughs> Not that type of cheese. I mean, like, because those cows had to have gotten into some shrooms somewhere. Yes, but that that one meant by by that though. <laughs> what do you think of like cheese as in cheesy? Yes. I mean, yeah. Colored candle. Colorful foliage plant. Cool.
Does he like played? We're all working together again. How wonderful. Right, Sugumi? Kagura, you hid something from me. You hid something. Don't say it twice like that. I'm sorry, I am. I'm really sorry. Sharing our knowledge is what saved Yumito. Thanks, Luca. I should be thanking you. We needed everyone there to keep Yuito alive. I think you all did wonderfully. Good. <coughs> Haru Fraser and ha <coughs> Haruka Fraser. Found what you asked me for. That's saying that Nagi died in combat against I will be others. Right back, okay. Yeah, and Nagi's body made it back to his family just fine. So don't worry about that. I was thinking about the forced transmission. All citizens, it might might be real dangerous. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> Sugumi, I was only worried about the emotional shock of the uh, of that information at once, but depending on how we use our habaki, we may be able to do something like my brother did. By what Karin did, do you mean infiltrating people's minds and putting their bodies and powers under her, our habaki's control? Does that mean that there's a possibility that all the citizens could lose their memories and consciousness like Yuido did. I believe there is that possibility, but the force broadcast was necessary for us. Yes, we were able to show these citizens the truth behind the curtain. However, we must be very careful in the future. Luckily, it looks like there weren't any problems with the broadcast this time. No need to worry, right? There were other rare flowers on Hino Mountain. The moment I saw them, I wondered, but I didn't know. I can't believe I didn't notice until I checked after we got back. The difference in temperature made my magnifying glass fog up, so I couldn't see the petals. That's too bad. I would have liked to have seen them, too. That reminds me, you always carry that magnifying glass around. You actually don't have very good eyes. Or, I actually don't have very good eyesight. I need the glass so I can observe my plants. We should go to the silent snow melt or to the on the silent go check on the silent snow melt again sometime. We'll look for those flowers again. Oh whoa. I mean, Andy, if you really, really wanted to have nightmares, I could introduce you to the 
Uh, well, the weird side of YouTube. Because trust me, YouTube gets to some weird places. Like, did you know there's a lady who feels fantastic? That's a phrase! Yes, officer. That's him. That's the tar. <laughs> the funny thing is, she's a lady, but she's not a lady. She's not human either, technically. I mean, shit, one of these days I need to do a chill stream where we just go and, like, have fun surfing the dark side of YouTube. Like, the old deep dark of YouTube. Because there's a lot out there that you guys probably don't know about. Like, do you guys know about the demon in the machine? What? Hit. What machine did you crawl into this time? There used to be, and I don't know if it still exists, but there used to be a thing where if you deleted a single part of a YouTube uh, link, like a link for a video, you could find a singular point in the link, delete that one point in every link, any link, entirely, every single one of them on YouTube. There was a singular point where it's always the same. You delete that one point in the link and press enter, and it would bring you to a video that is completely unlisted, completely unsearchable. No one knew what the fuck it was, but it had ominous undertone. It was just this ominous fucking audio-visual experience that no one could explain. Until, uh, I actually, I believe three or four years after it became a thing, no one knew what the shit it was until YouTube effectively went, oh, Christ, that's where that went. It was effectively, I think, like, well, actually, I shouldn't spoil the surprise. Because there is a way to technically to go and look up this creature. And the video does still exist, but you have to go through some really weird loopholes in the internet to get to it. Oh god, the time video. Oh. Or the, uh... Hey Aiden. The 10,000 pixels. For those who don't know, uh, there's a video that is effectively 10,000 pixel shifts on a singular screen that was, I believe, 360 by 360 or something like that. Uh, no, I think it was 400 by 400. Or 480 by 480, whatever the fuck it's, whatever the resolution was. Uh... Where it was just a two minute long video of 10,000 different pixel, sh pixel shifts on the screen. It looked like water rippling, but if you looked very closely, it was singular points on the screen changing color. Just ever so slightly. But it would make the screen that you're watching it on actually look like the screen itself was rippling. This is trippy as shit. A 
effectively it's just a visual static optical illusion kind of like uh if you look very closely at the background for the game you guys will notice there's a thing there's a tracking line on the screen If you notice it's there, it's really easy to track. But if you're watching the screen and watching the central point of the screen, you won't actually notice the uh, tracking line until it passes through the center. Like, if you're keeping an eye on the map, your brain doesn't see the tracking line until it's, like, dead center of where your vision is focused. Okay, so I can take her on a date. Oh, I can't take him on a date yet. I can take him on a date. I can take her on a date. That's weird. I can take her on a date. I can take him on a date. I can take... I can't take her or him on a date. That's That's weird. I can't take either of them on a date either. That's going to be funny if I have to take them both on a date simultaneously. Get a little sibling rivalry going on. <laughs> There's that stupid face again. That's how you start a conversation? Sorry, I call it like I see it. I suppose I'm getting used to it, though. You make sure to stay alive so I can always see your stupid face. It's not what I wanted, but I'm beginning to see how to handle you. Uh, is that something I should be happy about? I don't like noise. It's depressing to think I have to stay here from now on. Hey, dick fuckle. Have an organization manager for beginners. A kit. Beginner's guide is a little insulting, but it's fine. I want to throw some more things at this dick fuckle. Find a potato, then. I'm gonna plug something into him. Come here, lady. I've got a place for you to stick your eyeball for uh, your eyeball full. Oh, brain died. Your eyeball fixers. Not bad. Hmm. You have a good eye. I won't do it. Won't do any good for you to have it, so I'll take it. Because I can, it Would you prefer I call them eyeball fuckalators? So, you working hard today, too? Huh? Well, I, I guess so. That's good. Keep it up, then. How was that? You got a thing for me yet? I don't really get you, but I guess in a way you are intriguing. Yuito, are you tired? Are you making sure to use Baki to make you feel better? <laughs> yes. Baki gives me all the energy I need. 
Yeah, you're really weird. I guess this is what it means to have a good upbringing. Well, if Baki makes you feel better, then I'll be sure to buy any Baki merchandise I come across. I think we make a pretty good team. Hmm, I guess so. Hey, you need something? Well, I've been thinking a lot. Here, dude. Do you like to drink, sir? Oh, cool. Tut tut, sorry, young man, but the adults will be it really be taking that off your hands. Sir, oh sir, where did you go? Can I please shove my thingy up your nose? I have more gifts for you, but first let me plug something into you. <laughs> oh, cool. Have a bottle of vintage alcohol, neen -neen -neen Good taste. I heard an urban legend that some maniac had been brewing some really good booze illegally. Is this it? Hey lady, can I needle your face please? Are you playing with yourself? Hey, Yuito. Our jobs are dangerous. What do you think about holding on to a charm just in case? A charm? Oh, you don't seem that enthusiastic about it. I thought it was a good idea. It's very effective. If you ever change your mind, just come talk to me. I feel like I know you a little better now. We still have a long way to go, though. We should talk more. I think we'll get along fine. You can understand a lot by snooping. By reading memories, I have quite a few more connections. Excuse me, lady! You're not who I was trying to taste! Are you feeling all right, you know? Don't stress yourself out. Your brain just went through serious trauma. Lady, I have a sturdy pot and... Sturdy pot and ladle. I got cookware for you, lady. This is nice. This is some serious cookware, thanks. Now I have to put all my skills into my cooking. Aw, lady likes to cook. I feel like I need to talk to Kasane more. Lady, come here, let me play with your brain. You're so serious, Yuito. Ever since we met, you've been going out of your way to help people. I'm not going out of my way. Why? Is that a problem? Kinda. Guess being a problem is how rookies grow up. So keep doing it. Though, I don't plan on taking care of you. Very intriguing. I'd like to analyze, uh, get to know you more. I don't know how to feel, but I'm glad you're interested. She wants to analyze me. You look like Chief Kaito. What? 
No one's ever told me that before. Really? You're just as damn serious as he is. You also try to keep the peace. Well, your personality and tastes are different, but I like you more than the chief anyway. Okay. Oh, I just realized I was muted. God damn it. Om nom the burp. Hmm. I think I have a better understanding of the way you think. What? You know what I'm thinking? You know, like one of my three, one of the YouTubers I fought, I watched released a new video half an hour ago. Hmm. Sorry, my stupid brother is such a problem. He is one of those workaholic types. Lady, can I give you a cushion? This will be perfect for napping. I'm getting sleepy. Lady, where'd your face go? The fuck? You like bunnies! Lady, hey, Kit, what chapter are you on? Uh, nine or ten, I think. I think I don't know. I just give me a second. End of phase nine. Why? Just to keep my own mental notes in order. Yeah. Uh -huh. Jerp. Where is the bunny bitch? Actually, seriously, where is she? Wait, did she go the fuck to sleep? I would not be surprised. God fucking damn it! Excuse me, lady. Did you just- is that the person you gave the pillow to? Yes! Lady, would you like a drone? I have a drone. Have a good eye. If I adjust this thing a little, maybe I could use it to get rid of those annoying crows. Chuckle. She's on the floor because she was napping, apparently. Or just relaxing to her music. You're just carving up fucking rocks. Why? Why are you that kind of weird? Fubuki must have. Uh, Fubuki must have had it uh, very hard. We must let him rest. Dude, can I give you a plaid cushion? You seem like the type to like a plaid cushion. Thank you. 
Did you know that good muscles are soft, uh, are soft like this cushion? That's right, folks. A properly toned ass should be nice and squishy. We're going to take an intermission for my sanity because, um... What are these people? What are what people? Some of the stupidest gifts are just... <sighs> Why do I get the feeling? Hmm. They just make my brain all itch! Hey, Nexus, speaking of making my brain lich. A oh, woo. I'm on it. I mean, we don't know if he's quite, you know, available yet. He often hops on to stream a little before. A hello, Nexus. A woogle. By the way, should we schedule the uh, festivities for tomorrow while well, we have time? Uh, do you want to aim for after uh, the movie? That works for me. Cool. So I'll let you know when uh, when me and my brother are home. Oh. Also, uh, dicker balls. I'm glaring at you right now. <laughs> Pick one, and yes, there is a relevant, a relevant thing here. Dick or balls? Is that through the game you're playing? I don't know, does it? I, I'm hesitant to pick a hesitant to Trust me, it has something to do with the stream. That's all I can tell you. I got it muted for a second. I didn't hear what you said. I said, it has something to do with the stream. That's all I can tell you. I'm not choosing then. Aw. You're no fun. Trying to set up a surprise. If you want to surprise me, just surprise me. Okay. I'll flip a coin. No. Only thing I only... What I'm hoping is that's with energy drinks. <laughs> what? Because... No, there's an energy drink called Balls. I mean... I do like a good... I do like a good suck... I, I do like to suck on a good bit of Balls. It's B-A-W-L-S. Oh, trust me, I know. I used to get them from Fry's Electronics all the time. No, my friend, my best friend in high school let me have one. They're good. They're sweet. They're good, though. I like to... What? I got an, I got, Nexus, I got are you surprised that I like to suck some balls?
And was hoping the message would send before. Before Tweedledum I... gotcha. Yeah. I got your message though. I know. I kind of figured you did. I don't know what the fuck I did today, but I fucked up my knee, man. Oh. By the way, fuck. hey Nexus, between dick or balls, which would you pick? You know, just because life is treating me like it gave me one, I'm going to go with the dick. Cool. I mean, valid eh, valid reason, too. How about you all out there? Between dick and balls, what would you pick? And yes, this is me inviting y'all to either type dick or balls into the chat, one or the other. Damn, it's all a conspiracy. I'm wondering if either of those are... Aiden, Aiden's just like, the D. Delent both, both are good. I mean... You would be the one to say that. There's an interesting strip of flesh between the two. And just like that, I regret all my life choices. <laughs> ah, Ramon would pick the dick. I'm about to say, that's not much to regret, Nexus. Ah, you're right. You right. Hey, Nexus. Yeah. Gonna play with your brain. Oh, by the way, we're gonna need to do some more outward. It's just true. Fuck. Oh, oh fuck. I can't. Also, before oh. you forget, you need to. Aaron needs to make his character for Thorian for Sunday. Yeah. That was kind of on the docket for early tomorrow. We also need to do drug bird. Mm, yes. That is true. Drug bird won't take too terribly long, though. It's just more of a rebalancing thing. And the extra bells and whistles he's getting. Yeah. Like I said, it's a balancing thing. Because trust me, he'll have a lot of lore and a couple abilities, but he'll effectively be a new character. He'll be a character that's lived multiple years after the first two. So you will effectively be starting with a character with several years into character creation, because I think by now, wouldn't he be, like, nearly 19? I throw something in. I thought you said he was Here I, no, I hear, I thought he was, like, you said 20-something. Hmm. Either way, I mean, he might be older. It might be older than when I was thinking. Simply put, he's going to have the abilities of an older character. Because wasn't he from like five, few, six years ago? Possibly. It was when I first started the job. Was when, when I. So yeah, twenty eight. It was from twenty I mean, eighteen. On a technicality, that's also, like, a decade ago in-game. Like I said, though, you're going to... You'll have a character that's upgraded from basic. Do I but need to it's roll effectively a rebalance. No, not really. Because there's no drug for its luck, he doesn't need to roll anything to get bad luck. Not really. Like, I'm, I'm treating it as if he had the luck you started with him with, and then just kind of had this one moment of just everything clicked, fell into place, and everything went stupid. That's Drugbird's M.O. 
everything went stupid. Probably, way, probably for him, it was shortly after the encounter with uh, Sigismund the second time around, when Sigismund had perfected the T as a shrunken head. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling I need to keep Creed as far <coughs> as far away as possible from Drugbird? Oh, Drugbird is terrifyingly bad for Creed. Trust me. Trust me, I know. Or I can assume as much, given Creed's, uh, works, I guess we could say. Understand, there is an herb that this guy could use, just aerosolize it as smoke, it would make everything in the immediate vicinity horny as absolute fuck. And just like that, uh, sorry, Burb, you're the plague now. <laughs> And it is just one herb, not even the incense made from it. The incense made from it can put an entire town into a frenzy. And like I said, just like that, burp, sorry, but uh, I, I, I'm absolutely, Creed is absolute best friends with Azazel, but uh, at this point it's a detriment to my sanity. Well, what little sanity Creed has and his uh, health. Me about it this way, if you succeed in the adventure, <coughs> your version perk would skyrocket. Now, see, do you remember what nearly happened last time? That happened? No. But if it wasn't for the bullshittery I did in last game, chances are <laughs> I would be stuck with someone who I really don't want to be stuck with. I wouldn't have woke up in my bed. Eh. Hey, at least it's better than waking up inside the mink. Or the 30-foot version of her. Do you have any idea of the fucking Vietnam flashback you just put me through? <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, realistically, I though... Until next donation. Realistically, though, right. no worries. Just remember, no matter what, no matter how weird it gets, no matter how strange your life is, there is one thing you can always count on. You know what that is? What is that? That your brain will always twitch whenever I say, Who's a good boy? Sorry, everyone, but at some point, if I ever meet Kit in real life, I'm shanking him. We're going for drinks afterwards. Oh. I guarantee you are a canine. Like, we've been trying to figure out what kind of furry you would be. I guarantee it's got to be something canine. Is this, is, this a, is this a fucking conspiracy? Is this a pool? Are people taking bets on this shit? No, just occasionally we talk about you. Well, I did accurately predict anything of Pine Martin. Uh-huh. Understand, this is kind of one of those things we do, uh, Nexus. Just casually. So, have we figured out what Nexus is yet? Think about it this way. It's people we know, and it's one of those... We kind of predicted that... Uh, Aaron would be a badger. There were a couple things I was thinking before badger, but badger just straight up Stop. one day he just kind of agreed with badger and then it was from there, what kind of badger would he be? And everybody had everybody had this thought of no, no not a honey badger, not he's not he's not vicious, he's just a douche. So British badger. British badger yeah, with a no, hat. Can we sit, literally sit here and talk about how the British Badger literally looks like he, he would judge you but offer you a cup of tea and then demean you, but the American Badger looks like it wants to fucking eat your face? <laughs> like, are we just gonna sit down and ignore that one? Look at a fucking Honey Badger's mug. Fucking, I know what a Honey Badger is. Those are the same motherfuckers that take on lions, or brave enough to. Yep. Aren't they also immune to all, almost every snake's venom? Yeah. But, uh, you know how I can tell that you're canine, though? How? Easy. Because there are so many things that I guarantee would cause your brain to just perk up. And remember. Mike. And remember. 
uh, ever so slightly empathic. So, I want you to turn on the stream really quick. Stream's on. Okay. Already on. Listen to the stream rather than to me. I'm going to mute the headset on my end. Oh, Nexus. Here, boy. Hey, Nexus. Yeah, no, I'm stabbing you if I meet you. <laughs> what did you do, Kit? Didn't you feel that? Mm -hmm. That's too loud. Didn't you feel that, though? That kind of way that only... his brain perked up. I felt that. Yeah, I can tell you exactly what it was. It was annoyance. I'm literally sitting here as you did that thing. This fucking fuzzy bastard. Bitch, I give I give you my word. I could probably fucking pacify you with your scritches. I mean, you can try. You get hit. Just know it's on you. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be the first time a canine flashed out at me. True. Hey, Kit. Yes. If I hadn't chosen burp yet, do, what would you choose for me? Honestly, I don't know. Okay, now they're doing it in the chat. This is just. But does burp does, does burp fit me? Yes. Nah, I don't think Nexus is a fox. Mostly because he doesn't quite fit the stereotypes, and he really doesn't fit the actual. Uh, information of a fox because uh one how adhd are you i'm autistic okay so are you, you tell me non-focus type or the hyper focus type i hyper fixate on a lot of things like once my brain is in some i'm stuck there i'm sure you've seen it before Cool. Meaning you're the exact, technically the exact opposite of ADHD. I believe so. It, easy to hyperfixate, hard to switch tasks. ADHD is easy to switch, oh, switch tasks. Uh, difficulty hyperfixating, but once they hyperfixate, they can't stop. I'm trying to think back on my work, so... Obviously, I have to switch tasks periodically where I'm at. So I can switch from doing the dishes to sweeping to taking the orders all within the span of fucking 15 minutes, mainly because I have. How often do you get sidetracked from your task? Uh, depends. If there's a conversation, very easily. No conversation. No conversation, then I normally stick to the task till it's done. Cool. So, boxes are less, hey, there's people around, so yeah, no, that's, that's just general. Normally, it's, they have the tendency to... I am doing a task. I am alone. I am hyper fixated. All of a sudden, hey, what what's shining over there? I'm gonna go. Oh right, I was trying to get food. Oh god, the food ran away. Oops. See why I don't think you meet that criteria. 
not gonna lie, I have no idea what you're even talking about, so. Losing track on oh, random oh. things rather than, like, on conversation. Most people will lose focus on something with conversation around. I'm talking, when doing a task alone, do you get sidetracked a lot? No, not really. Yeah, yeah that at then all, so you, now. Okay, cool. Then you don't fit the fox mold for, you know, ADHD aspect. Uh, you're not super horny. So that well, stereotypes yeah. <laughs> out. I mean, realistically, the only one you technically fit is a uh, red fox. Which, weirdly enough, everybody thinks red foxes are the slutty ones. They're actually the ones that mate for life. Hey, kid. What's up? Have you heard of a pipe fox? Yes, I've heard of a pipe fox. It's adorable and it's weird. I prefer the dancing fox puppet. What do you mean? Uh, wait. Do you not know about the dancing puppet version of Hearth Fox? No. Oh, I've got to show you. It was a cute thing a couple cons back because a uh, artist known as Hearth Fox brought a uh, marionette version of himself. Or of themselves to a convention like their persona and was walking their persona alongside them and having them dance. We honestly marionettes creeped me out. Oh it was cute. Wait, why do marionettes creep you out? Do you like the long story or the short story? Surprise me. Art teacher. Ew. Good reason. <laughs> Realistically, though, this one was cute. I mean, it was this little white fox thing with googly eyes. Okay, googly eyes make everything better. It was cute. And it danced. <laughs> Alright, let's get some more of these dates done. Oh, ooh. you heading to bed, Heather? If so, then um num num. Then I. My brain put that together in the wrong order. What? You're going to Heather bed. At least you didn't hear it as you're going to bed, Heather. I don't know why my brain is horny tonight. Gee, was it really that surprising? <sighs> I mean, it is the turn of spring, so... Oh yeah, and it's my uh, spring allergy season, which also means it's the other thing. Hey, Aiden, you'll remember this time of year! Usually happens twice a year, turning of spring and... or turning of... Uh, spring and the turning of fall.
Yeah, it's also the season where I practically hump air. Hold on. There we go. Okay. It seems the citizens and government are confused by all the information. We've got our own confusion here with all the new people, too. I'm gonna give you a gift. I, I mean, apparently I don't have anything for your face. Why? Hold on. <clears throat> it was different. I feel a... I have a bad feeling. I'm not sure why. Lady, can I give you a colorful plant? <clears throat> really? I'm so happy. Thank you, I'm glad this is an indoor plant. 
if we change the pots around a little, it will get a lot bigger. We'll take good care of it. Oh, hey! <laughs> Okay. So, hey guys. Hmm. Unless I you're will. talking to chat. <coughs> I'm talking to y'all. Okay. <laughs> Is the burb alive? I think he's taking care of... Ah. Well, Maxis, how was your day? I fucked my knee up, and majority of the day, eh, relatively good. I was gonna say, is that going to be a most of the day wanted to smash somebody in the face, or most of the day was eh, pretty okay? Pretty okay. Still want to smash a couple people in the face, but pretty okay. I mean, that's that's the food industry in general. Yes, very much so. This is going to be a bitch. God damn it. Also, I will be right back ever so slightly, guys. Because I have to... I'd have to test the theory now. Hey, kid. Nexus? Yes? If Kate gets back before I do, I'm going to go take my meds. Okay. Uh, by the way, hey, Naxus. Yes. I think Burb said something about getting food. You can thank Chris for this, but, uh, hey, Naxus. What? <laughs> what, what am I thanking Chris for? You might want to be listening to the stream. I don't know why, but that makes me want to punch you even harder. <laughs> Aww. But you don't like squeaky toys. Or do you just want to tear apart this squeaky toy? I want to tear you apart right now, and not in the fun way. Aww, but why? <coughs> oh, Nexus. Hmm. Um, num face. By the way, I've become remarkably good at killing things with fire. Fire tends to do that. You haven't seen any of the recent uh, Onward streams. No, I haven't. I've been busy, remember? I know. One of these nights we need to forego, like, one of these streams and kind of, like... Walk around. Yeah, well, I mean, we can do two streams on two or on Sunday if you'd like. 
I'm fine with that. One earlyish morning, one evening. We just gotta figure out which one's which. This is true. We still plan on streaming some code? Yeah. I mean, code was the initial plan. Alright. Maybe get in some onward after game. Oh. But I still go. Uh, <laughs> still plan to go uh, exploring with you tonight. So, um. I am back, Kit. Welcome back, Burb. Also, Question hey, Burb. Yes. What were you going to say? What time do you plan on getting up tomorrow? Uh, probably like nine, ten. AM. Why? What's up? Because if I'm still at work, you can still hit me up on Discord. I'll still be able to answer, most likely. Yeah. Like, Saturdays are slow enough that during the afternoons. Okay. I'm numb. I doubt you're going to get up before me, though. I mean, probably not. I, I don't see you getting up at 2.30 in the morning. Nexus, did you just say your power went out? Yeah, he, yes, he did. Fuckle. <laughs> Fuckle! Well, that was weird. Wonder how long it'll take for it to go back on. Oh. Or was it a blown circuit? What's up? When you said ADHD and autism, I have both of them. Jesus. <sighs> for me... For me, when it's when I started hyper fixating on something, is for the love of God, do not distract me from it. <laughs> if you just it, because if you pull me off of it, it's nearly impossible to get me back onto it. Hopefully, that's not how it is with an otter. No, I meant like this is like when it comes to like high school work and that type of stuff. Oosh. <laughs> but I got the I got the joke that I chose to ignore it. Aw. And I'm taking my meds. Attention deficit ooh shiny? Also, really quick, we're going to get... Ah. Well, so does Avia. Anyways, let's get this Bond episode done. Uh, woo, woo, woo. Let's go, Mr. Buff Boy. Gamma, got a minute? What is it? Did something happen? I had Wataru go through the list of retired soldiers after we. Hello, Nexus. Welcome back to the Brainal. Yeah. 
Oh, fucking hell. Oh, well. Anyways. You know what I, you know what I find really funny, Nexus? Hang on, let Kit get through his dialogue. I was just gonna say. That really quick. What were you thinking? Or... That... Drug birds come back up here and just, just next, it's just Creed think just Creed has a feeling. There's a disturbance of the force. I don't like it. I got a feeling <laughs> yeah. that tonight's, the tonight's gonna, gonna be, be a weird night. That tonight's gonna be a weird, weird night. This drug bird pops up, yanks off a gas mask. Say what, say what? <laughs> what species of bird is drug bird? Out of curiosity. I can't remember, but I can't, I can't stop thinking Toucan for some reason. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm pissed now. What burb, what burb type was it, burb? It was also a hawk. I'm not letting it take him last. Hey. hey All right. Hey, kid, you want to hear some bullshit? What's up? So you remember how my power went out? Yeah. I just finished the boss battle in the fucking frozen area in Code Vein. Ha ha! And it fucking set me all the way back before the fucking boss fat battle. <laughs> Nexus? Yes. Ha! Oh, oh. oh. I fucking kiss, love to hate when it does that. Question for you. Are you a Doctor Who fan? Yes. Why do you think okay. I make every... Why do you think I made people's brains die with a Vasha Narada? Would you like to know what they did to the new Doctor Who? Dad to the new Doctor Who? No, I stopped giving a shit about what they do to the new Doctor Who because the new Doctor Who has been trash for like two seasons. Probably more than two seasons, but I, I stopped caring. I want to make you laugh at this, though. It, it trust me, it's not gonna make me laugh. It'll just depress me. That was a series I actually did very much like. And then you decided to make it a political thing. Why? I know why. It's because collectively the fucking world went a little bit fucking batshit crazy. <coughs> and everything had to be a political piece. But fucking spare me. Anyways, back to dialogue. Talked about your friend. I told him he was missing since I thought that was important. I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. Nobody's trying to hide that. So, did you find out anything? I haven't looked yet. I thought you might be able to notice something if we looked at it together. I'm sending the data to you now. This lists the present status of retired OSF members. I told him to only look at members who retired this past spring. So I'm pretty sure your friend is on here. Oh, I found him. Masaki Fujikawa. There's even details on his living situation. Why is the OSF tracking retired members so thoroughly? Wait. What? What's wrong? This is ridiculous. Look here. Let's see. Shortly <coughs> after entering the OSF hospital, Masaki Fujikawa died? No. I don't buy it. If he died in the hospital, his family would have been notified. Something doesn't add up. You're right. There are too many here that are listed as dying in the hospital, and all of them in such short periods. No matter how supposedly damaged these retired soldiers are, they can't all need hospitalization that badly. Hey guys, so I dug a little deeper on that retirement list you're talking about. <laughs> Seems pretty clear to me these are doctored. Publicly, they all died in the hospital. However, there's no record of their bodies being moved. There's a chance they're still alive in there. Really? I can't say for sure, but they went through the trouble of falsifying these records. 
Which means there's a high chance the hospital <coughs> is involved in something unsavory. Are they being used in human experiments? Many retired soldiers don't have families. It's a horrible thing to say, but nobody's asking questions if they turn up missing. I'd like to say it's only a guess, but going by the OSF hospital's previous track record? Then we should get on this now. If they're being used in human experiments, we need to save them right away. Data. Huh. The data lists them being admitted to the new OSF hospital building. Though maybe they were moved to the old building for experimentation. That's possible, but there's actually something else suspicious I found. I was tracking the vehicles going to and from the OSF hospital to see what they're up to. And I found a strange vehicle that would head from the hospital to Ceyron once in a while. There's actually one out now. I can't imagine they'd be making deals with Ceyron right now. What are they doing? I don't know, but they could be transferring the patients to some facility we're not aware of. We should start by tracking down that vehicle, since that's our only lead. They need to cross the river if they're heading to Seiron. We should be able to find it if we head to Mizuhagawa. I'll see if I can find more info on it. Thank you for helping me find Masaki. Let's find him soon. <clears throat> I've got good news, you two. I managed to access the details of that vehicle leaving Suo through its ID number. I was right. The cargo manifest listed names of hospital patients. Your friend Masaki was on it. Then he's on that vehicle. Yeah, there's definitely a chance of that. It's stopped right now. I'll send you its location. You need to get over there ASAP. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Hey, Burb. Yes. Dumb beep. No. But I'm um, dumb beep. Watch out for electric. Oh. You won't be able to move if you're electric. Lady, can I do something to your brain, please? That's the vehicle Wataru was talking about. What is it doing stopped there? They're unloading something. They look like garbage bags. I don't see any patients. So it was a garbage truck? Does that mean Wataru's information was wrong? No. They'd be taking trash to the garbage facility. So what are they? Let's check their contents after they leave. I'm getting a bad feeling. Yeah. 
It's targeting that bag. But why? It's what I feared. No, stay away from that. Gemma! Damn it. I guess we're doing this. Let's do it together. I'm using this, Shiden. Here we go. Damage to outer shell confirmed. Keep going and break it. I can do this. Shell breach confirmed. Put the pressure on. The bag. Here we go. Tend it while it can't move. I need your help. You can deal with it. Seems like I jumped to the wrong conclusion. I misidentified the cargo. I never thought they'd be carrying human brains in the waste disposal vehicle. Then those bags are... Damn it. It was too late. Masaki's already... Not just him. They treated all these people like they were trash. They fought for decades, risking their lives to fight for humanity. None of them deserve to end like this. <sighs> I'm sorry. I lost my cool for a moment. Anybody would if they found out their friend was treated this way. I'd like to bury the ones who didn't get eaten by the other. Do you mind waiting here? I'll help. Let's give them a proper burial. Thank you. You too, Wataru. I appreciate your help. I'll have to tell Masaki's younger brother later. I don't mean to overstep, but... Would it be okay if I went with you? I'd appreciate that. You must be Gemma. 
Yes. There's something I need to tell you about Masaki. I'm sorry, but your brother has died. What? Are you certain? Yes. I can't share the details with you as it's classified. But he passed away in the hospital and was buried in a secret location. Oh. I'm sad to hear that. I'm sorry. If I'd only found him sooner. It's okay. Please allow me to apologize as well for calling you cold. Huh? I actually received a message from my brother after I spoke to you, saying he had to be taken into the hospital. He told me not to worry about him and that he might not be able to contact me for a while. He also shared his true feelings. Let me send you his message. He... My brother was thankful to you for your tough love, for trying to help him move on from the OSF. After everything we've been through together, I don't have to talk to him to know what he's thinking. Gimma was always there for me, awkward and earnest. Masaki. It was my misunderstanding. My brother's memories of you were always there helping him. My brother wrote that he was ready to build a new life, free from the past, once he's discharged from the hospital. Unfortunately, that never happened. But he never would have had that hope if it wasn't for you. Thank you for saying that. I'm glad I was able to meet you today. Goodbye. <sighs> Gamma? He knew what I was trying to do. Your brains weren't connected. But your hearts were. Masaki. Is he crying? <sighs> Sorry. We should go back to the hideout. Okay. Yuito, will you train with me later? I work harder when someone is with me. Sure. Oh, but take it easy on me. You train pretty hard. Got it. I'll be careful. I mean, I'm not gonna try and crush you with weights or anything. I'm devoting myself to becoming your shield. That's what I think is most important right now. Do whatever you think is right, Yuito. Thanks. I don't have to second guess anything when you're with me. That was cute. That was enraging, but that was cute. Mm. The anyways, I think this is where we're going to leave off. So, Alrighty. Folks, if you enjoy the gameplay or the commentary, give us a like. If you want to keep up with this or any of our other content, hit subscribe and ring the bell. Become part of our notification squad so you can see when we upload when we go live. But for now, this is Kit the Solar Sun Crew signing off. So until next time, everybody. Bye bye. Numb. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, brain -o. And Axis. Yes. A woo. A woo da. Derp. So, what do you want to do? I have no idea, honestly. Mm. Well, good night, Johnson. Good night, Ramon. Good night, Aiden. I will. And good night to anybody else I might have missed. Blech.
Why is it not like 